In this video, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison between our HMP notebook as well as our progress notebook. So I think the first things first is that they're much more similar than they are different. The only thing that's different about it is in the progress notebook, there's one extra component that where it has a four-day progress soap note. So we'll just kind of look through each of these and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can get a better sense of what these look like. So we can see that the very first two pages are going to be identical. These are both going to be HMP templates. So this is our HMP notebook on the left and our progress notebook on the right. The first two pages are going to be more or less identical. There's a few variations, but you're going to get a very similar content. But when we flip the page for our HMP notebook, we're going to see that's just the same. It's going to be a whole new template. So it's just a two page template. And on our progress notebook, we're going to see that when we flip the page that we're going to get this four day soap note. Um, and so, what this is right here is it's really designed for impatience. So our HMP notebook is designed for, I would say more so for either the outpatient setting or if you're using it primarily for new patient visits. So this works great when you're on family medicine, when you're seeing a bunch of new patients uh, very rapidly and you want to kind of flip through them um, and see different patients and be able to document them and maybe type up your notes later on. This one's gonna be a little bit different where it's really taking one patient and being able to follow them over the course of time. So this was designed more for the inpatient setting when you're seeing the same patient for multiple days. And so you'll see them and you'll, you can kind of jot down their um, initial encounter when you see them maybe in the emergency room or when you maybe see them for the first day. And then when you're giving your updates, you can kind of jot them down here. And the reason why we wanted that was because uh, for me personally, I was finding myself that a lot of times people would ask me on previous information. For example, in the progress notebook, when people asked me oh, when I was on day four, what did he look like on day one? What was their initial labs or what was their initial presentation? I wouldn't really remember that information as a med student. So I can kind of flip back to that and kind of have all their labs as a trend if they wanted to know their labs for different days even though I wasn't thinking about it and I wasn't jotting it down uh, day by day oh what was their labs before I would just have it there because I had written it before rather than I was actually thinking of it so that's kind of a little bit about what's the difference between them and kind of why we designed two different notebooks that are essentially identical but hopefully that helped to give you a better idea be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.